should be live. Yeah, well, welcome to God is in the House here this Saturday and uh, here in Carberry, Manitoba. And I hope your sunroom is just as bright as the sunroom, S-U-N-S-O-N, -S in your heart. Is there a play on words there? Is there? Is there? I don't know. Well, you know, it's, it's really great to have the sunroom inside and the sunroom outside. Amen. And uh, last night at the Glory Center, we had, we had the glory come down. It was the glory night. And uh, if, you, if you need to hook into that and watch it, just go to the Glory Center. It'll be on up there. It was, it was a great evening in the Lord. And we're going to kind of flow with some of those things here today. So uh, because it's all about the glory. It's all about being in his presence. So may the glory and the presence be in your home this day or in your church or your nation or your city. And uh, may it just fall down and, and fall down upon you. And one of the things that we transitioned on Thursday is that uh, we, were, we were talking about a number of the things with prophetic and prophetic dreams and, and angels and, you know, encounters with angels and, you know, who's speaking to you and who you and uh, what are you listening? You know, and we're going to be we're going to be uh, into that type of uh, interesting thing about the Holy Spirit speaking to us. I've, I've instituted instituted a new uh, thing that we're going to do around the table today. You know, God is in the house. And I, I wish some of you were here and I wish there was some way that you could pick a card. OK, mm -hmm. and each one of these cards has has a scripture on the one side, and on the other side, it has a, a prophetic, prophetic utterance, mm. or unction, or direction. So around the, around the table here today, what we've, I've already given out the cards. So you're gonna have a life application sermon, which is prophetically driven by Revelations 19.10, that the spirit of prophecy, mm. okay? Jesus is the spirit mm. of prophecy. And, it's, and, and his testimony is the spirit of prophecy. Mm. Our testimony in the blood of the Lamb is the spirit of prophecy Amen. that God wants to speak in this time prophetically to everyone. So, Amen. so Amen. this is Revelations 19.10 uh, put together uh, where the spirit of prophecy is going to flow based on the breath of God, the word of God. And each and every individual around the table has one and each one is different. And uh, I have given them some opportunity to kind of let that sink in. And, and uh, so we're gonna have a little bunch of vignettes, mini sermons, and it's all to come together as one. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening today in God is the house. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I wish I could give you a card. I, uh, you know, um, yeah, maybe I should just flash one up and, and say, maybe we'll do that a little later. We'll see how that goes. And uh, we'll see who, who gets the answers and what kind of uh, interaction that you can uh, put up on. Well, maybe I should do that right now. I should do that right now. Okay. I, I, uh, Leslie, pick a card. Pick a card. This, yeah. is, this is for you guys. He's, he's, Leslie's picking a card. Okay. So you understand what we're doing. Okay, so she's picked a card. Now Leslie's going to. It, it, this this set here is is um, from Max. Well, Max Locato. Yeah, Max Locato. Okay, so we've well, yeah. had it for a number of years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. the the scripture that Leslie spoke picked up is is Second Corinthians three eighteen. Can they pick that up? Second <laughs> Corinthians. If I can zoom on it. So each one has a card like this and a scripture. So this is your scripture up there to, to look at. What is it, 2 Corinthians? 2 Corinthians. 3.18. Okay? So that's your scripture that, that you can look up right now. And ask through the Holy Spirit, what is the spirit of prophecy and testimony that's going to come out of that? Now, what Max has written here, if you can take a shot... On the back is his is is his prophetic unction. So we each can have one of these with different scriptures, and from there we're going to flow. So on this one here, it says God desires to take our faces, 
this exposed and memorable part of our bodies, bodies and use them to reflect his goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so the scripture is our faces then are not covered. We all show the Lord's glory and we are being changed to be like him. <laughs> kind of fits in from last night, Amen. fits in for what we're going to do today, fits in what's going on in your life right now in 2 Corinthians 3.18. And God desires to take our faces, this exposed and memorable part of our bodies, and use them to reflect his goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he doesn't want you walking around like a bunch of hoot owls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm -hmm. So this is your, uh, how can I say, pick a word, pick a promise uh, out of Revelation 19.10, the testimony of Jesus uh, is the spirit of prophecy. And then you put in what the Lord and the Holy Spirit is doing in regards to the spirit of prophecy that's coming out of you right now through the Holy Spirit and write it down and, and, and you know, send an email or send it, uh, put it on the uh, program as we're going forth and be part of this particular God is in the house around. You know, I, I love the way Patricia Simmons says it in, <laughs> she just loves when I say this, you know, in Louisiana, uh, you know, here we have a square, a square table and I said, uh, <laughs> putting a round peg in a square table. Well, God can do anything. You know, so, you know, w w just be plugged in with us in, in, in our round table <laughs> with a square peg. Is this a square peg? You never know. Okay, so that's your scripture. We're going to leave it here. That's again, 2 Corinthians 3.18. You can read it. And then on the back, it says, God desires to take our faces, this exposed and memorable part of our bodies, and use them to reflect goodness. Do you think that's important time right now mm. in these pandemics yes. where people have so much fear yeah, and yeah. anxiety? Mm. Do you know that you could really make a difference oh. going down and getting gas today and smiling yes. at somebody? Reflect or the joy. A, yeah, uh, reflect the joy. Yeah, there just, just mm. kind of carry a water bottle, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Just t pull your mask down, take a drink, and smile. <laughs> you know... <laughs> I was born. I was born on Halloween, and so I always got my mask on. So, and I've always been a treat. Okay, there we go. That's why they call me Reformation Ray. I was pounded into that big door when Reformation started. There was a point on my head, and God just took me and whacked me into that door. He says, "Ray, Reformation Ray, I'm going to make you a." and help to make you a change in what is important in my bride, in my Amen. sons and daughters, in Amen. my ecclesia. You know, for those who might not know, October 31st, your birthday, is the day when uh, Martin Luther nailed his 95 yeah. thesis to the door of the church in Wittenberg. Uh, That's what Ray's right, talking yeah. about, yes. being yeah. pounded yeah, into yeah. the yeah. church door. And you're saved by faith. Amen. Oh, by Amen. grace. Amen. Not by your, by your money. Saved yes. by grace. Through, 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 yeah. through grace. Yeah. Through faith. Yeah, by saved grace. by grace through faith. Okay. Yes. <laughs> My head has really been banging against the, <laughs> the door lately. <laughs> Doesn't hurt as much when you quit. <laughs> That's a oh, good one. Oh my goodness. Huh. Yes. Does that fit in with? Does that fit in with this scripture? Woo. You know. You know. If you're banging your head against the wall, it that doesn't easy. <laughs> it doesn't hurt as much when you quit. <laughs> Have a smile. Don't bang your head against this COVID, whatever you want to call it. Smile. Amen. Amen. Okay. okay. That's our start. We'll see how we go from here. Cool. So with that, I can open in prayer or no? Why don't you open up in prayer? Like there just one. pull it over there. That's a good idea. I gotta shut that in. <laughs> so yeah welcome again um you know it's it's always good to hang out with god's people and uh more importantly to hang out with the lord himself mm. so we just want to say welcome mm. um and and just get yourself relaxed cup of tea cup of coffee glass of water 
um, and just welcome and enjoy the presence of Almighty God. Mm-hmm. For he, his longing is to, his longing is to sit with you and have that coffee or that tea. Mm-hmm. He just wants to hang with you, and so we love to hang with him and and his people. So we just want to say, Father God, we thank you. Thank we you thank you, Lord, Lord, that you are such mm-hmm. a huge God of grace mm-hmm. that we cannot even imagine your greatness mm-hmm. and the grace that you pour out upon your people. Yes. Lord, we thank you that you are also such a merciful God. Mm-hmm. And none of us ever gets what we really deserve for Ooh, our wayward sure. ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But God, you are the yes. rewarder of those who diligently seek you. And so mm-hmm. today, Father, we seek you. And we just want to more and more diligently seek your heart, your face. Mm-hmm. And Lord, that we would walk in your ways. Help us, Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Help us, Holy Spirit, to know and recognize the ways of God separating that from the ways of this world mm-hmm. or the or man and the human thinking mm-hmm. but lord that we would that we would really take on the thinking of the almighty we would take on the thinking of you holy spirit because mm-hmm. you dwell within us yeah. and lord for those who would long to have yes. who would long to have a, a relationship with you and haven't even recognized it yet yeah. Lord, we just would say that, yes, you are always got your arms open inviting mm-hmm. anyone who would just say, Jesus, I really need to get to know you. Mm-hmm. I need a friend like you. Yeah. Yeah. Someone who will not judge me, but who will accept me for who I am. Yes. And help me along life's path. Mm-hmm. So, Lord, we just thank you that you will draw each and every one yes. to yourself, yes. first of all. And we bless, we bless your word, we bless all that goes on today, and we, most of all, Father, mm-hmm. we bless you, and yeah. we bless our King, King Jesus. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. King sure. Jesus, because that's where the real crown oh, is. Yeah. 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 It's not on some virus or some mm-hmm. disease. Mm-hmm. The crown, above all, is on our King, mm-hmm. King Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, last night at the Glory Center, uh, it was a glory night, and the presence of God and the prophetic flowed, and uh, it was a time of worship, a time of uh, unleashing, uncorking, mm-hmm. uh, a, a yeah. time of, uh, of, you know, the prophetic, you can go, the, the prophetic that flowed is that um, we're, it's like God is going to do something in each and every home. Mm-hmm. The, this Pentecost mm-hmm. that's coming out, there's gonna be such an um, uh, outpouring of the Lord. It's a, like it's a prepared time where heaven isn't gonna invade earth and, and to his sons and daughters. And the grain is going on the altar we've been talking about and speaking for the last number two or three, uh, four weeks is the threshing floor and the separation of the grain and the wheat and the tares and all these type of things that that seems to be happening all over the world and different prophetic people and. Uh, are, are, uh, it, it seems to be on the right frequency. Everybody's on the kind of the right frequency. And, uh, and the Lord is really uh, letting that word come to all his beloved children around the world right now so, through so many different uh, prophetic voices. And uh, so <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at the, the one that I picked in regards to the prophetic pick or the promise, I'm just gonna, this this one here is, is interesting. It, it's the call to repentance. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the things that we did last night uh, as a prophetic act and, uh, you know, uh, Robert and I, we were blowing the shofar, we were blowing repentance. We were, uh, I'm sure it was being blown in other places around the world as well, but the shofar uh, is being blown in Hamiota mm-hmm. and, uh, we were worshiping and and the and the shofar was resounding and and the breakthrough the breakthrough that's necessary it's just like okay the threshing floor is where the grain went on and had to be crushed and 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 when when they the old if you if you look it up on whatever google it uh, way back when is that they would they would form a big large circle or and they 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 throw everything like the sheaves on there and then the, then something heavy would have to go and crush that wheat. Mm. And they generally use oxen, they use horses, they use stones, 
uh, and then once it was all separated, they then had to rely on God bringing a wind. So they could throw, they could separate yes. the, the, yes. the sheaves, yeah. you know, they could do that. They could separate the sheaves. That was easy enough to do. Mm -hmm. So they could go and make bricks out of it and if, they, if Pharaoh had you, or they could make, or feed the cattle, or uh, make bedding, or whatever they're gonna do, make bricks. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, if the wind wasn't there, they couldn't do anything. If the wind is not working in your life, you're just gonna sit. Mm -hmm. And one of the prophetic words that came last night was uh, uh, out of uh, Ezekiel 37 in regards to prophesy. Mm -hmm. Prophesy to the what? The dry bones, dry the dead bones. bones. Yeah. Prophesy yeah. to the bones. Prophesy yeah. to the north, the south, the east, the mm -hmm. west. And, 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 and so if you've got some dry bones in you, prophesy to yourself. This is part of this today. Mm -hmm. This is, prophetically, you can prophesy to yourself. Maybe you've been, you have the DNA of God inside you. We know that because God made us. And, and we've been put on this earth for this specific time. And right now, we're in Manitoba, which is called the Keystone Province in Canada, right in the center. And there's all kinds of prophetic words that have been given for the Keystone Province for many, uh, there's so many of them. And one of, one of the, uh, Manitoba in Cree means the water that goes down the brook over the stones, if you've ever heard that in the mm -hmm. spring, mm -hmm. and, it's, and, and, and it says the water that goes down over the brook and, and the song creates a song of worship to the Creator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you think from the beginning of time God knew what Manitoba was going to be called? Mm -hmm. the keystone province yes. yes the province that sings and worships mm -hmm. from the time of creation because manitoba is a, is is a, is a province in the middle of canada that has one fifth of the fresh water in the world wow wow that's right one fifth yeah. canada has um three-fifths of the fresh water in the world. Living water, fresh water. Praise the Lord. And we're in the center of this. Right. Yeah. Wow. Living water. Wow. Amen. The prophetic Amen. words that have been coming to about Manitoba and mm -hmm. the revival yeah. and yeah. in the center uh, uh, of exploding oh, yeah. out of... It's living water. Jesus is the living water. You can't drink dead bones or dry bones, no. Ezekiel. No. And Ezekiel says, they're coming to life. And the flesh yeah. is coming yeah. on it. And so yeah. on, and the prophetic. So um, what I have here <laughs> is Joel chapter 2. It's the one I, this is the one that I picked, you know, as far as the word and the breath of God and the promise and prophesy to those bones and, and, and the testimony of that. So it's the call to repentance. So... Um, uh, I'm going to read it out of the uh, the new uh, the New King James. Okay, first and it says, "So rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord." Oh, what a time to return to the Lord right now! Mm -hmm. If you've been straying away, return to the Lord. Do not listening to all the things that, of, of the rhetoric that's out there that's causing confusion. Listen to the Lord thy God and, and come into yes. a place of contentment. Mm -hmm. He says, rend your heart, not your garments. You know, mm -hmm. with all the things that are going on with this COVID and masks and everything else, you, you can't rend your garments to stop a disease. Mm -hmm. the, the, Lord, the Lord will take the disease out. So rend your heart, get your heart pure, not your garments. Return to the Lord our God. For he is gracious and merciful. He is gracious and merciful. You know, God storms are his mercies in disguise to bring us into a closer walk in covenant with him. This is all about God separating the grain from the wheat and the chaff. It's his storm. It's his breath that's bringing the wind right now to separate. Otherwise, it just sits, it just sits there. You, you can't separate it if there's no wind. So God's breath is coming in. The Royal Kakadesh is coming in and blowing the chaff and blowing the tares and separating so the grain comes down on the altar. Mm. A good time to choose to be mm -hmm. on the altar. Mm -hmm. And it says, he's slow to anger mm -hmm. and great in kindness. <laughs> 
Isn't that interesting? The one we read here, you know, it, it, it just, uh, you know, it, it just says uh, to, to reflect his goodness. <laughs> and he relents from doing harm. That's New King James. What it says here, come back to the Lord, be, your God, because he is kind and shows mercy. He does, he does become angry. He does become angry quickly. But he has a great love. What Max is talking about at the back here, he says, God does what it takes to get our attention. Hmm. Isn't that the message of the Bible? B-I-B-L. Mm -hmm. -B Basic instructions before leaving earth. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you, do, you, do you think we're going to be leaving earth one of these days? Oh, yeah. Resurrection life. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, John eleven twenty five. 25. He's, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who, what, believe in me shall not die. Do you believe this? So you either, you're either going to be resurrected mm -hmm. one way and meet him in the sky, yeah. or you're going to head down south. Head down go. south and then go up <laughs> north. You know, uh, whatever that is. But I, I think, isn't that the message of the Bible? The relentless pursuit of God. Amen. The relentless pursuit of God. Oh. Oh. Every morning he, you know, in the, 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 the ironic benediction, he says, every morning I give you a kiss. Every mm -hmm. morning I put my son, my light, S-O-N, my S-U-N, I put my son of light upon you. Every morning when you wake up and I give you a kiss, of, you're precious to me. And that's the prophetic word for you out of this card mm -hmm. is that you're precious, you're precious mm -hmm. to the Lord thy God. And he's doing all this, mm -hmm. yes, to get our attention, but yes, for our turn, mm -hmm. our hearts and not our garments unto the Lord. So with that, I'm either going to turn it to Ralph or I'm going to turn it to Leslie. Can I just... Okay. But, oh, you, but, you're. Oh, but in there. Okay. Uh, th this. Okay. Uh, I'm on Philippians three twenty one. Okay. By the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies, mm -hmm. so that we will be like his glorious body. Yeah. So he's coming to change us. Right. And take us if we focus on him daily he's going to transform us to be like him mm. so that we won't have our dry bones our, that's right be we will be wearing oil. his flesh oil with that's the right. anointing and the holy spirit yes. amen. amen amen and the back uh, on the back here it says in heaven's accounting only one wound is worthy to be remembered oh. mm. amen. he sacrificed his yes. self so that right. we could be flawless right. and that it is the wound of Jesus. Yeah. Our wounds will oh. be no more Amen. because we will be having on the full armor of God, his flesh. We will be his flesh right. to go on and, and our bones will be filled with his anointing oil. Wow. That's mm. Philippians what? 3? 3, 321. 321. Do you see this life application sermon coming alive in the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. Like there's like 75 cards here. We just, we just, don't, many, everybody took from wherever and, and the sermon is coming alive. It's just, it's just lining up, connecting the dots. Uh, whoa. Anyway, okay. That is so awesome, Robert. And uh, I want you to know Robert uh, and Christine are from Gimli and uh, they, I, I'm just saying, we hold the shofar together. We just love being together. And isn't that one of the most wonderful things in fellowship to yeah. be in, together in the center of the Lord? We, you, we just can't get enough of the Lord Jesus Christ, but we can't. We just want to be together and do it together. So, God is in your house. Invite people in <clears throat> and do the same and have a cup of coffee. And it says here, friends, bring friends around the table and discuss yes. what your heart is. Rend your heart, not your garments. Don't, don't let your face be radiant in regards to the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't let it be a plastic thing and say, okay, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm handling this. Uh, you know, da, 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 da. No. Be what? Transparent. Amen. And, and, and have a good friend today. Amen. <laughs>
have a good friend today. And if it's in a cup, as Maria would say, yeah. you know, our Maria loves a good cup of friend. So, Maria, this cup is for you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, fitting in. <laughs> oh, okay, uh -huh. here we go to Hamiota. Gimli, uh, <laughs> Carver, now Hamiota. We're traveling. We're yeah. traveling. Fitting into the theme. Wow. First Peter 5.10, in his, Max's paraphrase, he called you to share his glory in Christ. Oh. A glory that will continue mm. forever. We've just oh. been talking about being unmasked yeah. and mm. open and sharing the glory that's in us with wow. those around us. Yeah. And going and inviting the neighbors in for a coffee yes. to yes. share His mm. glory. Hallelujah. Just fits. Hallelujah. Oh. Uh, see, on the back of the card it says, Where the grace of God is missed, bitterness is born. But where the mm -hmm. grace of God is embraced, forgiveness flourishes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. That's the grace think. of God oh. enables you yeah. to forgive the unforgivable, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to do like Jesus, to, yeah. you know, unconditional forgiveness. That's right. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, Reverend Ralph. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. We got we got Robert there. We got an R R there, and we got an R R here. Uh, we got a lot of R Rs in the month of I R. Triple R. You know, like yeah. it's a triple R, uh, and but it is the month of I R. That's right. Yeah. Where heaven is yeah. invading earth, and it's the month of inter intercessors. And if you go on to our website uh, under prayer, okay, under prayer, you'll find an article that we wrote years ago, twenty years ago, and it's timeless. Long time. In regards to the intercessors of Issachar. Mm -hmm. And we haven't touched it. We haven't changed it. Oh. It has been the same mm -hmm. that we when we wrote it with her 20, 25 years ago. It's one of it's one of those prophetic words based before we really like 30 years later or 20 years later or whatever, is like we don't so much more and we've increased our knowledge, we've increased the anointing, we've increased everything. But what God gave us 20 years or whenever that we wrote that. First love, first fire. Yes. Oh, yes. It does not diminish. It only increases. So if you go to the website, it's under prayer on the left hand. Or uh, on the column on the left hand side, you'll find it down there. So, and the website is? Resurrectionlife.bc.ca. If, if you just put Resurrection Life in because of the surge agents, and we're the first ones that were on it, it we, we pop up first. It, now, isn't that prophetic? Resurrection life pops up first. <laughs> oh, brother. You know, like, uh, I, 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 Jesus is the spirit of pro prophecy and testimony. Always, and you just put resurrection life something. in there and we pop up first because God Ooh. wanted us to be the first people yeah. wow. on the search engines for resurrection yeah. life. And that's why we're there. There you go. You yeah. got so, you're going to hit me with a stick or you, what are you going to no, do? No, not this time. You, you, Okay. <laughs> How about giving me a kiss because I've been pursuing you like God has pursued us. This is true. Mm. Okay. And we've been kissing for 50 years. Now I might need the stick. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> Maria is probably giggling. Okay. Uh, we're... Okay. Either to you... <clears throat> Based on that particular writing there, Catherine Coleman, or we're going to go to the prophetic word that Ralph had. So, which word? Well, I think it goes to Ralph. First. Okay, it goes to Ralph. Okay, here's a prophetic word that Ralph. This, this will come later. Okay, a, a, a prophetic word that was given to Ralph about 20 years ago, and he wrote it. And it. And last night there was some prophetic utterance that came out of the Glory Center, and and Ralph, I'm just giving the segue. To, he said it just came alive again to the prophetic word that he wrote 20 years ago. Isn't that interesting? Intercessors of Issachar, 20 years ago, approximately. And this prophetic word for Manitoba, that Ralph, go ahead, Ralph. Okay. Yes, the anointing really, uh, this would be a couple of years ago, this word that was then 20 years old, uh, the Lord reminded me of it. It had been dormant for 20 years, and all of a sudden he reminds me of this prophecy about the Keystone province. And I understood that uh, what he was saying is that 
when the keystone he's building uh, I'll, I'll read the whole word but essentially the Lord the, the word is that he was building an arch of righteousness over Canada and when he put the keystone in place there would be an outpouring of his glory that's like has never happened before well, in the last year, maybe a little longer, I've had the sense that the stone is in place and we're just waiting for the outpouring. So now I'll read what's on uh, what I wrote all those years ago. First of all, I, I stumbled across this quotation about Manitoba, the Keystone Province. Manitoba is also known as the Keystone Province because in 1877 the Governor General Lord Dufferin described the province rather solemnly as the keystone of that mighty arch of sister provinces which spans the continent from the Atlantic to the Pacific. That's where we got our name, the Keystone. <clears throat> Holy, this is what I wrote just a, a few a while back. Manitoba is also known as the keystone. Oh, sorry. Holy Spirit is reminding me of prophetic word that He gave me for Canada many years ago. I have searched diligently for the transcription of the word, but to no avail. So I'm going to try to do my best to recreate that word. It was just part of a longer word which I have forgotten. The key part goes like this. You have heard of outpourings of my spirit in the west and in the east, and I am building an arch of righteousness over Canada. When I put the keystone in place, mm. there will be an outpouring of my spirit unlike anything you have ever experienced. In my note, in my conviction, it is my conviction that the keystone has recently been put in place and the moving of his spirit that we are now experiencing is just a precursor of what will he will do in the future. One prophet I know tells us that there are more prophets per capita in Manitoba than anywhere else in Canada or in the world in her opinion. Uh, that I wrote February 27, 2017. Uh, October 26, 2017, I found the original part of this prophecy. It was given to me circa 19, 1997. Quote, This is a prophetic word that I was given in, at Winnipeg Christian Center, my home fellowship at that time, a few months ago. You have heard of the manifestations of my spirit in the east and in the west, and you have asked, why not here, Lord? I am building an arch of righteousness over Canada. I have begun in the east and in the west, and when I am ready to place the final stone in place, the keystone, there will be a manifestation of my spirit such as you have never seen before or dared to imagine in your wildest dreams. I am preparing my children to bear the weight of my glory. Be faithful, you have not been overlooked. Wow, <laughs> like 20 years later he reminds me, and then I find, I'm able to get, reproduce the original prophecy. It was just stuck in my memory. And then um, he's, be faithful, you have not been overlooked. Mm -hmm. Last night, during the meeting at the Glory Center, I only got to watch it this morning online, but uh, when I heard the Keystone Province, it just lit up. Uh, Ray was talking about the Keystone Province. It just absolutely lit up for me, and the Lord saying to me, Now. Mm -hmm. No. Now, no. the no. outpouring no. that he promised no. is now. No. It started, started last night in the glory no. center. No. With that prophetic word, no. it started. No. So this is the word of the Lord no. for Manitoba, for Canada. No. And so many are on the uh, 
firewall and whatever for Canada, keep seeing Manitoba mm -hmm. in the center, mm -hmm. being the place yes. where the fire starts yes. out from. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, thank you, Lord, that all these prophets are seeing the same thing that he gave me all those years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Lord, for bringing it, you know, to my mind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. And for yeah. many, many years, even when we were on the West Coast, Mm -hmm. uh, even when we were on the West Coast, that was a word that was being put forth. That and and even pictures of like, uh, like the old show Bonanza. You know, we're on the map. You know, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, it's the fire starts and it burns across. Yes. Yeah. that was yes, a picture yeah. it's from the prophets in BC. Yes. We're saying yeah. in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. so from all those years, so you know, from across the land. Yeah. That mm -hmm. has been something that has been brought forward mm -hmm. time after time. Amen. And so um, the Lord must plan on, on following through with his word. Amen. Oh, because sure. he is a, a God who keeps his word yes. and mm -hmm. his promise. So, Amen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow. So yes, we yes. can expect we can expect more and more glory. Amen. To fill and, this. And yeah. with Manitoba being in the center of our country, yes. there's so much to that because of we're talking fire and spreading, but also the mm -hmm. ripple effect of a stone in the center yes. and, and rippling out exactly. to the, rest of the country. Yeah. That's there's right. so many things that can cause effect from the center mm -hmm. to spread. Yeah. Right? Everything has a center. Mm -hmm. So yes, just that's yeah. Right. And this is yeah. where it begins. Yeah. And now is the time. Amen. Exactly. Now yeah. is the time. Mm -hmm. The yeah. epicenter. We're living yeah. in a now time. We are living in a now time. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. isn't that yeah. amazing yeah. that, you know, this place, this time, the Lord has seen fit mm -hmm. to have mm -hmm. his people mm -hmm. right here, right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. throughout this province. Mm -hmm. And yeah. part yeah. of, is my understanding of your testimony, mm -hmm. that the Lord moved you here. To yeah. start a fire. Amen. <laughs> to prepare, no, yeah. Yeah. more to directly prepare. to prepare a people, yes. which is yes. the, wor the very word, yes. preparing my people to bear yes. the weight of my glory. Yeah. And yes. that's definitely been happening around this table mm -hmm. and other places, but this yes. is one of the places where that's mm -hmm. been happening. Mm -hmm. I know because I've been experiencing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And yes. you know, at the time when we made that move, you know, or at least I'll speak for myself, but really didn't have an insight into the depth of what the real reason, the God reason, mm -hmm. you know, this type of, Amen. you know, enormity reason mm -hmm. that we were coming. It was, you know... We gave up so much. But, uh, but that's part of what goes along with anyone who walks in, in whatever... The mm -hmm. anointing that God places on any person's... Mm -hmm for the call on their lives. Mm -hmm. And so yes, there has been, there has been, you know, there are sacrifices, there is a price that you pay mm -hmm. to, to be a part, but oh my goodness, um, would we want it anything less than that? No. no, because to be a part of what God's doing in the earth mm -hmm. and to see, to see, his glory and Amen. his power being yeah. released. Yes. And with that, <laughs> this card, um, it, you know, when it says like from Ephesians 1.19, you will know that God's power is very great for mm. us who believe. Amen. And then the flip side, and it says, you know, and, and part of it, it's, Taken from his book, I suppose, just like Jesus, it says, God loves to decorate. Hmm. Let him live long enough in a heart, and that heart will begin to change. Mm -hmm. portraits, of hurt, portraits of hurt will be replaced by landscapes of grace. Amen. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Wow. And so... Mm. Even, you know, as we can follow through what the Lord has done and been doing in our lives, in our world, and the world around us just now, we can really see whatever the sacrifices have been, whatever the price is, it's to the greater glory. 
of our King. Amen. Yeah. And that makes it worth the while. Amen. That makes it, that makes it worth the while. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And you know, so we had we had talked about you know, um, you know, just talking about the the price that the price that gets mm -hmm. paid mm -hmm. to walk in the anointing. And if the big thing is willingness and obedience Amen. to stay close and hang on to hang on to the to the <laughs> coattails, hang on to Jesus, yeah. to stay close yes. Yes. and not be distracted. Yes. by the enticements of the world. Mm -hmm. wow. And so one such person, which, you know, I, I, you know that an example, and then we'll have some examples of our own, um, but... And around the table. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. Catherine Coleman, for example, you know. Yeah, so many people saw the, saw the glam, what would appear to be glamour, which really isn't, but the glory of the Lord and how the Lord worked and moved through that woman's life. Mm -hmm. Why she was so dedicated to the Lord, but she also had to sacrifice much. She also mm -hmm. went paid a price to walk in that great anointing. And, you know, like, just I, I was just kind of looking up and taking excerpts from her life. And, and you know, she, you know, she... She gave her heart to the Lord at a very young age, mm. and then um, she met up with this man who was um, he was he was a guy who had compromised his position in God. Um, he divorced his wife at some point, like, and left his family, and he moved to Mason City, Iowa, and he began a revival center. So he was doing all these great things for God, mm. but. Where was the motivation in his heart is mm. what we have to, is what it comes back to. And then so Catherine Coleman and her friend, um, her pianist, you know, came into the town and to help this guy raise funds for his ministry. And lo and behold, don't you know if there was a romantic um, encounter? A romance that started between Catherine Coleman and this man Burroughs. Well, then that became a public, publicly known, and that's back in the day before there was social media, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So word gets around. Mm -hmm. Word of things travels. Hence, all the more important, we live our lives as if you know under under a microscope but needs to be unto the Lord. Yeah. So then, you know, the two decided they would get married. And, but she had said that at some point, you know, when she was speaking with some friends, said that she could not find the will of God in the matter mm. as far as marrying this guy. Those friends and other friends encouraged her not to go through with the marriage. Mm -hmm. mm. But... Coleman justified it to herself and others by believing that this fellow's wife had left him instead of him leaving her, mm -hmm. not the other way around. So when you see, no matter who it is, if we're not getting God's mind and God's will on a matter, but we go ahead anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we justify it to ourselves and actually get the truth flipped. It gets flipped and becomes a lie. Amen. We fall into that trap of believing the lie. Mm -hmm. And then there's a price to be paid for that. Yeah. Not, you know, I mean, yeah. and praise the Lord for a God who is so merciful. Mm -hmm. yes. And that he redeems us and, you know, when we come to him and he forgives us. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, that, that wedding did not give her peace about their union. Yeah. And for 10 years, eight out of those 10 years, they did not even live together. So this fellow ended up divorcing her. And so she had a lot of heartache surrounding that, regrets. 
you know, and it says on many occasions in the years following, she expressed feelings of remorse for her part in the pain caused by the breakup of Walter's previous marriage, citing the children's heartbreak as particularly troubling to her. So a truly repentant heart will realize and acknowledge the pain and the suffering that has also been cast upon other people. Mm -hmm. It's not just the person yourself, mm -hmm. but it affects so many more. And she's had claimed that it was the single greatest regret of her life, second only to the betrayal of her loving relationship with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And therein lies the, the crux. Mm -hmm. It's we must have a loving relationship yeah. with our Jesus. Amen. 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 But I mean, and, and she still had to go through lots of crap, shall we say, afterwards. I mean, people, you know, people that uh, she was sued. Mm -hmm. She was actually sued by, you know, by a, a fellow who had been her personal administrator. And different associates that sided along with that. and and accused her in the lawsuit of diverting funds and of various different illegal happenings, which she totally denied because the records proved that she had not. And yet, people will accuse. So, where does the accusations come from? We have to, you know, recognize. It's not from our God. And if we, but if we allow the accusations of people yeah. to break us down, as opposed to sticking close to, to yeah. the one who's our Redeemer, so healing, you know, she needed to go through some healing herself. Yeah. Yes. Right? And then, you know, so so and we know we know from there, you know, that the Lord the Lord did pour out as she repented, and repentance is such a huge part of our mm -hmm. walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Keeping short accounts with him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But then that enabled the Lord to do his mighty work through her. Yeah. yeah. And the glory came. Yeah. yeah. Because she could could not and would not take any exactly. of it. Exactly. Yeah. It's imperative that God's people take zero glory for themselves. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. But that Amen. always, always he must have the glory. Yeah. And I think, you know, in our own walk and story that that has been a part, uh, you know, of the Lord now at, at this point. You know, what people see of us now, who maybe never knew us before we came back to Manitoba, yeah. mm -hmm. um, isn't, you know, isn't the whole story. Mm -hmm. We have had to walk through many years of difficulties at times, of people making accusations that were Betrayal. not, yep, and betrayal and all that. Mm -hmm. um, and we've had, you know, we've gone through some interesting uh, scenarios for, you know, how the Lord would get through to us and, mm -hmm. and uh, how we learned how to walk more according to his ways. Amen. And I know Ray's got a story or two he wants to bring up about, <laughs> about how, you know, how, how did we get to this place? Mm -hmm. And what were the things, you know, how we learn and how, we, how, do you, how do you learn what's important and where to separate the wheat and the, the tares, right? Uh, amen. Yeah. Amen. We're going to do that in the second part. Yeah. Oh, I see. We, so we're going to take a break. Okay. All right. Well, then that'll be a part two thing. But nonetheless, um, there's always a backstory to what you see in mm. front of you. Yeah. When God is moving in a mighty fashion, amen. how he uses his people, and that's his business. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Because he will use each and every one of us in a different way because we are each individual people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Designed only to move the way he has created us to move. Mm -hmm. So as human beings, too many times we fall into the trap of comparison. Mm. Oh. And we compare, and I, I did that for a lot of years. I would, mm -hmm. I would wish for and compare myself. Well, I, I, you know, I wish I could, you know, I wish I could speak eloquently, or I wish I could do this. But it finally came to terms with the fact that, hey, nobody else, I mean, might be some similarities at times, but nobody else can, can do what the Lord has me do. Amen. And Amen. even looking back, 
I wouldn't have thought 15 years ago I could do what it, but he has me do. <laughs> yeah. Right? Amen. You, you, you come through. Amen. You come through the transformation Absolutely. of what you're talking about. Absolutely. You know, the transformation from glory to glory and, yeah. you know, more and more as, as, as we yeah. allow him. And it's, yeah, he has, it has to be us giving up the things that um, sometimes are comfortable. Amen. We could have been very comfortable staying in our place in Chilliwack mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. moving here. Amen. Um, but we wouldn't have been if we because being a disobedient, yeah, we yes. would not have been comfortable or yeah. Amen. wouldn't have lasted. Amen. No, open the door. But you learn things, right? Yes. You learn as yes. you go, and so as the Lord trusts each person, uh, doesn't matter who the individual is, you'll trust just like the the parable mm -hmm. of the you know of the coins or the money, mm -hmm. you know, and the the master and so on. He trust you with a little bit. And see yeah. how you manage, manage that, that. Yeah. and how you know how that lasts, and then mm -hmm. then he gives you a bit more, and Progress. you know so it's yeah. yeah so until the point where he can trust it with a lot. Amen. And so we're at and and we will, you know obviously he's not done with us yet, mm -hmm. but there's a lot more that he entrusts into our care now mm -hmm. because we've been trained along the way Ooh, and really have amazing. given into the yeah. training. Amen. Yeah. And it's giving into the training. Yes. And yes. letting that bit be in the mouth for a time as yeah. when you train a horse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, for as, as yeah. necessary until you catch on, like you hear mm. you hear his you hear what he's saying to you mm -hmm. and you just move on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Without even thinking almost. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I'm gonna do a bit of a segue. I, I, I mm -hmm. wanna come back to you if the Lord comes on your heart to pray for what you just talked about for the people out here. Okay, yeah. and when I say that, um, uh, 20 years ago, uh, Apostle Charlotte Baker, when we walked into a, a church in, in Washington, uh, and a, a, Apostle and Dr. Charlotte Baker was personal friends with Catherine Coleman. And in Catherine mm -hmm. Coleman's books, there, there are a lot of references to Charlotte Baker. Mm -hmm. And how she was there probably to pray and be part of whatever Catherine was going through, and 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 and, and you know, uh, Pastor Charlotte Baker, you know, uh, prophet and uh, apostle. When when she saw the two of us uh, in this church in Washington, and we were you know back back then blowing the shofar and ministering and being excited about the Lord and had, all, had a lot of fire and zip. And she just said, Jesus, give me those two. <laughs> Jesus, give me those two. They need to be refined mm -hmm. to go to another level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So 15, 20 years she poured into us. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. And that's a huge blessing of God. Yeah. To have mentors. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That would invest what the Lord has shown her and taken her on, and to pass on. Yeah. Yeah. To pass on the depths, and I mean that she to sit and watch her in worship sometimes mm. was like the glory was so there, like she was gone. She was just gone in mm. the glory. So it's taken up until now. For me to get just that glimpse, mm -hmm. just a glimpse mm -hmm. of what she must have been seeing. Yes, yes. Yeah. And there's more to come. Yeah. Right? Hallelujah. Just pray that into that people right now. They need more to come. Amen. They need to be touched by the glory. They need to be in the glory. They need to be yes. soaked in the glory. You need to be mentored. I think you need, need no, to be mentored. No, no, go, go, ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Jesus. Well, God, you know exactly where each and every individual that is running after you and seeking after you, God. You know exactly where each one is in their walk with you. Yes. And, Lord, it is your heart and your desire to take each one higher. Higher in you, Lord. Mm -hmm. higher in you and to that next level mm -hmm. of trusting them in the next level that you've got mm -hmm. for their lives as those individual people. Yes. Father, I thank you that courage will come mm -hmm.
for each heart. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. To bow before you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Before you, the Lord, King of the Jesus universe. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, that because Jesus, you are the King, that you do reach out your scepter mm -hmm. and you touch each one. Thank you, Jesus. And the anointing mm -hmm. that would come through for each one. Yes, Mm. Mm. so that more and more of your glory is made manifest mm -hmm. in their lives. Mm -hmm. So Lord, we thank you that and wherever any hurts or offenses or things have been mm. in hearts and minds and lives, mm -hmm. Lord, that you are healing those even now. Yes, Lord. Even now. Yes. That you are setting your people free, God. Free to walk that closer walk with you. So Lord, we just bless each one. We bless each one mm -hmm. who would hunger and thirst after you, and Lord, that you would just continue it to increase yes, Lord. that hunger and that thirst mm -hmm. for more of you and your, your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We bless them now in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Amen. 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 And I want to... Uh, <clears throat> I want to let you know, Ray and Leslie, how much I absolutely appreciate the price you've paid, but that you aren't keeping it to yourself. Mm -hmm. The things mm -hmm. that you learned through Charlotte mm -hmm. in your own walk and the, the levels, the prices you've paid, uh, and the lessons you've learned that you've poured them out into me in these last four and a half years so that I've come a, like I've leaped over two or three mountains to get where I am because mm -hmm. of the price you've paid and the, mm -hmm. the, and the way you've poured out into me. Mm -hmm. So Lord, thank you <laughs> for your servants who've paid a, 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 a terrific price to get where they are. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, Father, that I'm benefiting from that yeah. just by association. <laughs> thank you, Amen. Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Good. Thank Lord. you for the blood of Jesus yeah. because it's you know, through the blood that we all come to yeah. know yeah. and be mentored by the Father. Mm -hmm. And the heart of the Father is the mentoring that each and every one of us need to be at a place to know that we're accepted mm -hmm. in such a beautiful way that that what Leslie talked about there is something I'm gonna down the road speak on mm. and as that even though we don't deserve or, or, or even um, as far as the king extending the scepter to Esther because of the favor of the king mm -hmm. it's not about us it's about the favor of the king mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. when he extends the scepter all is forgiven, mm -hmm. and everything is poured out unto you yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. to receive everything that the King has mm -hmm. in love and blessing. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Esther paid a price. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we all have to come to that place and say, "Thank you, Jesus, mm -hmm. for the blood, and thank you, Father, for extending your hand of love, mm -hmm. the right hand of God the Father." that raised Christ from the dead, yeah. that extended the scepter to us so that we could be touched Thank you, and Lord. free and come into a place of re mm -hmm. relationship and mentorship of the Father's heart. Amen. Amen. Grab a coffee. Amen. Warm it up, friends. We've got some good right. things come up in the second half. And I will be sharing that prophetic dream in the second half. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Back in five. Oh.